Well, Melania seems to have completely sidestepped her duties as a presidential candidate's wife, so Trump has replaced her, I guess hoping that maybe we wouldn't notice. To show that picture of Loomer sitting, standing up under Donald Trump, first question that crossed my mind was, where the hell is Melania? Because that's a little too yeah. close for a pick. <laughs> but it's it's that kind of is that kind of closeness that Donald Trump's like. So here we are on a Friday night, getting loomy. When things go badly for Donald Trump, he reverts back to the Lorma Loomer sort of stuff. So he's probably going to make more changes management level because he got destroyed in that debate. And every time things go badly for him, he recoils and he goes in that direction. And. I have to say to my new friend, Scott, that I disagree with him because if it's on Twitter that she just turned black and then it's coming out of the former president's mouth, she just turned black, he is listening to her, Anderson. You know, when the, when the windows open and you hear clippity clop outside, it's a horse, not a zebra. You don't, it's Occam's razor. He's listening to her. She's on the plane with him. She, he's talking to her. Does it's it, very, and, he, very and she's a new shiny penny for him and he likes it. When President Trump was pushed out of the White House in this coup, and when President Trump left Washington, D.C., the truth left with him. And so there's a war on truth, and truth has become a radical concept in this country now. You are now a radical if you speak truth. But we've noticed, and Laura Loomer is a bit of a downgrade from Melania, which is somehow both saying something while also putting it lightly. The rumors that Trump is having an affair with an ultra-MAGA white supremacist have been around for a while, but Trump isn't doing very much to quell them. On the contrary, his potentially problematically close relationship with Loomer has been ongoing for a while now. Really taking the country by storm, very powerful person, very strong person, very courageous person, a warrior, Laura Loomer. Laura, where are you? Thank you, Laura. Great job you do. We have a lot of great friends and a lot of great people. Laura, how are you? You look so beautiful, as always. That's a woman with courage. You don't want to be, you don't want to be loomered. If you're loomered, you're in deep trouble. That's the end of your career, in a sense. Thanks, Laura. She's actually... That's my That's my That That says Trump 2024. Thank you, Doug. We Thank inside. you. We love you. Two separate times in December of last year, he posted the same video of Loomer talking about how special Trump is to her on Truth Social, and he said, thanks, Laura. Here is her response when she was asked about guys who are too intimidated to date her. It's not like I'm vicious in that sense, but a lot of people just can't handle my lifestyle, and I'm very busy. Just, you know, I'll tell you a funny story. I dated somebody one time, and uh, they thought that I was, um, you know, too focused on Trump, and they said that I gave, I gave my activism in support of President Trump more attention than I gave them. And it's like, yeah, you're... That's right, because Trump is more important than you. Trump is gonna save our country. The interviewer then closed the interview by saying she felt actually quite safe sitting with Loomer, which is an interesting way to end a conversation with anyone, but maybe it was a reference to something they spoke about earlier, I don't know. Anyway, Loomer's constant presence at Trump's side lately has been rustling quite a few feathers, not just amongst his critics, but even in Trump world. Um, I, I, this is such an important election. I, I don't think that she uh, has the experience or, or the right mentality to advise a very important person. Why do you think the former president is even listening to her? She's getting bad advice, or he's getting bad advice from us. Uh, I'm not involved in their conversation, so I can't weigh in on that. Uh, but I do know this, that her rhetoric and her tone is, is does not match the base, does not match MAGA, does not match most Republicans I know. And I, I'm completely denouncing it. I'm over it. And I would encourage anyone else that matches her statements to stop. How many Republican colleagues or your allies who are concerned about your close relationship with Laura Loomer? Well, I don't know uh, what they would say. I, Laura's been a, a supporter of mine, just like a lot of people are supporters, and she's been a supporter of mine. She speaks very uh, positively of the campaign. I'm not sure why you asked that question, but Laura is a supporter. Uh, I don't control Laura. Laura has to say what she wants. She's a, she's a free spirit. Well, I don't know. I mean, look, I can't tell Laura what to do. Laura's a supporter. I have a lot of supporters. Uh, but I, so I don't know what uh, exactly you're referring to. It, that's okay. Yeah, please. I just don't know. Laura's a supporter. I don't know. She is, she is a strong person. 
She's got strong opinions, and I don't know what she said, but that's not up to me. She's a supporter. Please. Just to catch you up very quickly, Loomer is a known 9-11 conspiracy theorist, as well as a racist and white supremacist who worry that if Kamala Harris ever won the presidency, the White House would smell like curry. And people like Trump's VP pick, J.D. Vance, who happens to be married to an Indian woman, are left trying to explain away Trump's questionable choice of companion. Yeah, do I agree with what Laura Loomer said about Kamala Harris? No, I don't. I also don't think that this is actually an issue of national import. Is Laura Loomer running for president? No. Kamala Harris is running for president. And whether you're eating curry at your, chick- at your dinner table or fried chicken, things have gotten more expensive thanks to her policies. Let's talk about the person running for president of Se- the United States, not a social media personality who supports Donald Trump. Senator, first of all, J.D., no one said anything about fried chicken. Way to be more racist than Laura Loomer somehow. Second of all, he is married to an Indian woman. Woman. I said that. He is married to an Indian woman. I'll say it again. I would never wish ill of someone's marriage, but if I were her, I couldn't stay married to a guy who says things like that. After all, the JD she married was the opposite of the JD we have today. He was a Trump critic back then, not Trump's defendant, and certainly not his running mate. Loomer's comments even went too far for far-right MAGA agitator Marjorie Taylor Greene. MTG wrote on X in response to Loomer's post, This is appalling and extremely racist. It does not represent who we are as Republicans or MAGA. This does not represent President Trump. This type of behavior should not be tolerated ever. Laura Loomer should take this down. In the past, MTG has referred to Loomer as, quote, mentally unstable and a documented liar. Trump's old buddy and press secretary, Kellyanne Conway, weighed in on Loomer's looming as well. She said that if she was still running things on the Trump campaign, Loomer would not have been let anywhere near Trump, let alone on his plane, traveling with him to and from various campaign stops. Loomer, 31, has been enjoying her own bout of fame from her association with Trump. She's got a podcast and a significant following on social media, so much so that she is getting brand deals. Recently, to promote a conservative-owned brand of dog food, she ate the dog food on camera, which, you know, wasn't weird at all. But all of that aside, the fact that this is the woman Trump has decided to keep close to him, a woman whose company he clearly enjoys, this is a problem. Unfortunately for her, there is no official White House role for a presidential mistress or alleged mistress, but I don't think that will stop Trump from appointing Loomer to a White House position should he be elected in November. And we already know that Loomer has political aspirations. She ran for Congress twice, didn't get in, and then pivoted to being an investigative journalist, which really just means that she is a conspiracy theorist. She's also a hashtag proud Islamophobe, her words not mine, and she said that Muslims should not be allowed to run for political office in this country. And when 2,000 migrants died from drowning, she celebrated the news on social media with the hopes that 2,000 more would suffer a similar fate. What's scary about the Laura Loomer of all of this is that in the past, I think even Trump would have known to publicly distance himself from someone like Loomer. Now he's hardly concerned with speculations that he is having an extramarital affair with Loomer, who accompanies him on the campaign trail while his wife refuses to leave New York City. Melania, I can't imagine, cares about any of this apart from how bad it makes her look. But who knows? I don't know what goes on in the mind of Melania Trump. But for Trump, it's something most children learn from their parents. He should be a little bit more careful of the company he keeps. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks.